What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. Today I'm covering the biggest Squarespace updates so far in the month of October. First, Squarespace has released a new block type, the shape block. This block allows you to quickly add a solid color to sections as a background or as a design element. There are tons of shapes to choose from, but personally I see myself most likely only using it as a rectangle or circle. You can easily change the block's color to one of your palette colors or choose a custom color with the color selector. You can also add a drop shadow to the block and control the color and blur amount. I definitely recommend keeping your drop shadows pretty light for the best effect. I recently released a video going over this new block and three creative ways to use it on your site, which you can check out in the card above this video. I would love to see a gradient option in the future, but that is probably unlikely. I would also love to see a border option and a rotation option has been suggested, which would be a welcome addition as well. Next, Squarespace has added the ability to copy and paste blocks between sections using the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl C and Ctrl V, both on the same page and to other pages on the site. This makes replicating layouts 100 times faster as you don't have to rebuild them from scratch every time. This only works for fluid engine sections that use blocks, so unfortunately we don't yet have a way to duplicate auto layout sections. If you aren't sure what an auto layout section is, check out the video in the card above. I go over them in all of their settings in detail. While copying blocks is a welcome feature to speed up the build process, not being able to duplicate sections is still extremely limiting. It would also be great to save section layouts that we create to the new section menu, and also be able to save block layouts to the add block menu. If those features were to be implemented in the future, it would make creating new pages on Squarespace easier and faster than almost any other platform, which is exactly what you want as a company who markets yourself to DIYers. In the world of learning Squarespace, there are some exciting announcements as well. If you're thinking about becoming a Squarespace web designer, Paige Brunton's free web designer bootcamp starts on Monday, October 17th. The bootcamp is three days jam-packed with educational trainings and Q&A sessions with designers who have successfully built booked out web design businesses. If you have Googled anything Squarespace related, you've probably read something from her site. She's very knowledgeable and high energy, so I think she really connects with younger designers just starting out. She only offers this bootcamp once a year, so if you're interested in joining, you can use my link in the description. The private Facebook group for the bootcamp opens up tomorrow, where you can meet others who are looking to start their business as a Squarespace web designer as well. Truly nothing beats having a community when you are first starting out, so I definitely recommend checking it out. And finally, Kirsten Martin is having her October sale, where you can save 30% on all her Squarespace courses and bundles. Kirsten is all about simplifying systems to run a calm business. Think hard over hustle. She has a very laid back teaching style, which I think people connect with. I've linked her site in the description below this video as well. And that is it. I have more Squarespace tutorials coming out, including full website builds, which I know people enjoy. So if you're interested in seeing those in the future, consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.